So let's just talk about the split tree. So the split tree is a self-adjusting binary search tree. This is similar to the AVL or the red black tree. Now here the splaying is the process of moving recently accessed elements to the root so that frequently accessed elements will be accessed quickly. So here also we can perform insertion, deletion and the search operation. Now here the difference is that whenever we perform each of these operations along with that we have to perform the splaying. That means we have to move recently accessed elements to the top. So to perform the splaying we have to use the rotations. So like an example we have the jig rotation that means right rotation. Suppose you are accessing the element 8. Now we can perform the jig rotation so that the 8 will become the root node. Now if we try to access the element 8 frequently then we can access that pretty quickly. Similarly we have the jag rotation that means the left rotation. Suppose you are trying to access the element 10 then we can perform one jag rotation so that the element 10 becomes the root node. Similarly we have the jig jig rotation. First of all we perform one right rotation then again we perform another right rotation. And this way this element 6 will become the root node. And also we have the jag jag rotation that means we perform double left rotation. And this way the element 10 will become the root node. And also we have the jig jag rotation that means first of all we perform one right rotation so the 9 will be right rotated and it will come here. And after that we perform the jag rotation or the left rotation so the 9 will become the root node. And lastly we have the jag jig rotation that means first of all we perform one left rotation so the 9 will be left rotated and after that we perform one right rotation so that the 9 will become the root node. So these are all the different rotations that we can use in the splay tree. The splay tree has so many different applications like an example we can use that for caching. We can use that for the database indexing and also can be used in file systems and also in case of data compression. So hope you understand about the splay tree. Thank you.